a lot of the conversations about disruption, though, are about the kind of the what of it. What is it? This company's up, this company's down, this kid's become a billionaire overnight, this company that was around for 100 years has had to sell itself for peanuts. There's very little analysis of why it's going on, what is driving the changes at a molecular level, and how people's behaviours are changing as a consequence. That's what we do at Courier. We study what's going on, but really try to extract the why of it all. On a day-by-day -day basis, some of these changes aren't apparent. A little bit like this sort of like picture of the universe kind of slowly. It's only when you speed it up. And it's very interesting. Even if we're reading tons about disruption in the FT or The Economist, we're hearing these stories, we tend as business professionals to think of them as being outside of our own business or outside of our own category. But kind of like a universe sped up, actually the cracks begin quite small but grow quite quickly. As the supermarket industry has discovered in the last 12 months, things that you thought you could take for granted only two or three years ago can quite radically change. So we don't need to panic, but if you look back over the last few years, you start to pick off a whole lot of industries that have already been really turned upside down. Bookshops, taxis, holidays, cameras, music, news. The list is not insignificant. We think it's still very small compared to the list to come. We sum all of this up with a term. We, the term we use is modern business. We see modern business being driven by two different forces. First up, there's a group of businesses that we call the new gods, and I'm going to spend a bit of time on this shortly. Many of these businesses didn't even exist 10 years ago, and they are coming from the top down into categories. They have mastered their own, and they are spilling out into new categories. It's a part of what we spend a lot of time studying, is trying to distill the impact of these businesses for our clients' businesses. And then from the bottom, there is this explosion of a million startups. I don't know if there's really a million. We'll have to count them one day. But there's a hell of a lot. From one-man bands to really well-funded challenges and the level of capital that is lining up behind um, uh, well-funded uh, challenges is pretty amazing. Most of these will fail, but there is this Darwinian process that goes on in the in the ecosystem around these that means the fittest and the strongest climb to the top. And when they do, they're really, really savvy players. <laughs>